My name is Gene Chalfie. I'm the Vice President and General Manager for the facility here in Lakewood, New Jersey. Over my 13 years here at the facility at DPT Lakewood, we've undergone quite a transformation. We originally were a non-sterile liquid and semi-solid manufacturer, and we've transformed ourselves into a center for sterile and specialty products. We've invested over $40 million on manufacturing suites, utilities, and equipment. We've hired some of the best talent in the industry to help manage these upgrades. But what makes DPT different from other CDMOs is the fact that we have five aseptic sterile filling capabilities. We can handle small volume perennials, sterile ointments, sterile ophthalmics, sterile nasals. In addition to that, we can handle development through distribution. What do I mean? Research and development, formulation, and analytical. Pilot facility through scale up, full service validation, full service quality and regulatory, as well as complete commercial manufacturing. We have made a significant investment into the small volume perennial technology. Not only do we construct a facility of over 5,500 square feet, which is a state-of-the-art facility, we have future expansion plans for two more suites within the facility. In addition to just a manufacturing facility, we are constructing a freeway facility, a compounding area, as well as a wash area to support this new technology. We purchased a MAC from an Italian manufacturer called EMA. The MAC stands for a Modular Aseptic Compartmentalized Filler. This consists of a vial washer, a depyrogenation tunnel, and a grade A filling zone where we have the capability to fill vials 2 ml up through 100 ml. We currently are in the process of installing upwards of 1,000 liters of manufacturing capability, and we can also handle DEA class one through five products. DPT Lakewood selected the EMA MAC for a variety of reasons, but most importantly, the fact that we are limiting human interaction with the equipment. The equipment is compartmentalized, so you basically load the vials into the washer, it passes through the depyrogenation tunnel, and the filler itself is enclosed within a system which is a grade A filling zone. Therefore, there is no human interaction until the unit comes out after being filled, limiting any issues with potential microbial contamination. Going forward, myself and the leadership team here at DPT Lakewood are looking forward to partnering with you on your development and manufacturing needs as it relates to any of our sterile manufacturing and development capabilities.